thought. That's here. That's home. That's us. On it, everyone you love, everyone you know, everyone you ever heard of, every human being who ever was lived out their lives. The aggregate of our joy and suffering, thousands of confident religions, ideologies, and economic doctrines, every hunter and forager, every hero and coward, every creator and destroyer of civilizations, every king and peasant, every young couple in love, every mother and father, a hopeful child, inventor and explorer, every teacher of morals, every corrupt politician, every superstar, every supreme leader, every saint and sinner in the history of our species, live there on a mote of dust suspended in a sunbeam, on our pale blue dot. Hello my loves! Marjorie and I are on our first walk on our road trip. We are going to Ireland. Basically we have to because of the visa but we're very excited to be back in Ireland. I already had I think one cry. I feel quite exhausted. <laughs> it's beautiful. Can you believe that I'm crying? With that view, I can't. I thought I'll just transition like this into van life and it will be all right. I'm used to backpacking. I mean, that's an upgrade really, so yeah. We've been on the road four days. <laughs> it's only four days. So the first step is done. And as they say, you don't know the second step unless you take the first. Charger doesn't work. Marjorie doesn't want to walk. And I don't know why. And I'm very, very, very exhausted, even though I had a shower and was at the camping site tonight. And to be honest, right now with new landscapes, sort of the exploration, explore spirit return. And I'm very happy. I don't know why, but it takes so much pressure finding the charging points and the traffic and and I'll keep you updated seriously doubting my dream maybe I'm just not made for van life or something welcome to my October vlog Mwah. On the 1st of October, we set out on a new adventure, as mentioned in my last vlog. We were off to Ireland, and this road trip served as a first tryout, a first glimpse into van life, something I have been working towards for the past one year and a half. The west coast of Ireland has not been explored by us yet, so the wild Atlantic way southwards it was going to be. Arriving by ferry in Larne, we spent our first night in Ireland in Port Ballantrae, just a loop walk right in front of us leading to the Giant's Causeway along a beach and along cliffs. Our second destination was McGilligan Point, only the weather had been foggy and rainy for a week by then, so we sought out refuge at a lovely, cozy, warm and dry restaurant before deciding that we would spend the night here. We went to Marlin Bag and there's like huge cliffs and it sort of really reminded me a little bit of the Alo Lewis 
with the sheep and the fur and then the colors and the moss and heather and the cliffs obviously and then i met this woman donna and her friend dave i got talking to donna um and she said yeah she's gonna go down her friend is gonna join her later and he's gonna do a swim so yeah some things happened one thing led to another and suddenly i was accompanying dave for a swim in the atlantic ocean um a swim in the ocean it wasn't even that cold and for some reason i like looking and watching water more than be in it so for me doing this with like the waves and stuff it was really like a huge thing but it was so freeing and it was so wonderful and i didn't even feel fear i just felt like fun and by the end i was like splashing into the waves like i was a child again it was absolutely lovely and then donna and dave invited me back to their house to take a shower so i had a hot shower today guys the hot water oh my god i feel so clean by the time i left donna and dave's house all fresh and clean and hygienic the sun had come out and i was driving down the coast way and it was just mind-blowing i'm right now here at saint john's point i think it's literally just i think four or five kilometers outside of kilbaki and it is like a tongue of land that stretches out and it's got a lighthouse at the end so marjorie and i walked up there and i was doing some yoga and finally because of the sunshine and being able to be outside again and move myself more than just this space and driving the yoga session was especially beautiful and i dedicated it to the beautiful land and the beautiful people um uh, and just pure gratitude for that so far the first week consisted of rain and fog and i'm quite all right with that if it's very wet outside and um it's it's very cold as well it wouldn't dry so there's a lot of condensation going on but it's not that bad and marjorie and i never were cold or anything like my heart always races when i drive off somewhere even if i'm fully charged i never know how much power this van needs to move me my stuff going up hills and down hills and up again so i've sort of made a game out of like driving slowly um the shower is quite challenging in the eight days nine days so far i had two hot showers i had full showers one uh down by a waterfall which was stunning but also cold <laughs> there are ways possible ways to keep clean but it's definitely not as easy as during the season i send you from my little corner of the world all the love that i have in my heart to you i hope you're all right be kind to yourselves be kind to others and Mwah! smoothies exploring St. John's Point, it was time to venture on. Next stop, after a quick fast charge in Sluggo, was the Mullet Peninsula. And despite the fog upon our arrival late afternoon, the landscape literally felt like home. The parking space we found was empty and the only sound we heard was the hard winds and the high waves crashing onto cliffs. The solitude gave us respite and after our first slow morning start, with coffee in bed and a book to read, we had a walk along those stones that apparently were about two billion years old. Needless to say, I guess, but I fell in love with this peninsula and decided to stay another day. And how grateful I am still for this decision, you can't believe, because after taking one wrong turn, we accidentally ended up <laughs> at a place called Farmore. On top of a hill, and with the clouds opening up and gifting us a spectacular sunset, this truly became my first highlight among highlights of this road trip. Magical and wild and freedom in the air, it carved itself into my memory.
Our journey along the West Coast brought us many more highlights. And I can say this with all certainty. It turns out that van life indeed is something for me, if not the thing for me. Yes, there are hurdles to take, but whatever life we choose, challenges will always present themselves to us as an opportunity to grow and expand. The only certainty in life is change. And while editing and reminiscing, I'm sure van life, traveling full time in general, is being in a state of constant change. Waking up every morning not knowing what the day will bring, where you will end up, what people you will meet, what the weather will do. We arrived at Renville! And we're gonna spend the day here! Coffee by the sea! Marjorie back there is happy! And it's not even 11 o'clock! Oh goodness, it's so gorgeous! What stood out the most apart from the stunning, awe-inspiring beauty of Ireland, of course, was its people. I met nothing but kindness, generosity and a feeling of being welcome wherever I went. And once more I was reminded what backpacking had already shown me time and time again. Separation is an illusion. We are all connected to each other and this experience, this thriving knowledge warms my soul regardless of the temperature outside although admittedly i was more than glad to revisit old friends and well-known places and be welcomed in their homes have a cozy fire indoors warm up dry the clothes and oh a kitchen to cook and bake again with good company and a humbling reminder how very luxurious and comfortable a home can be. How good it feels to have friends in this world that offer their hearts and homes to Marjorie and me. Okay, we are stationary. We arrived at Kilbrony Park. We're gonna have a lovely autumn walk now. But I wanted to take a second to end this vlog by, um, first of all, thank you to all the beautiful, wonderful people out there that I met along the journey. You truly made a difference with your kindness, with your generosity, with the talks, with the exchange, the communication, and overall the connection. I'm very, very grateful that I met you and you made this first glimpse into van life for me um, so, so, so spe special. And uh, I wanted to let you know that you made a difference to both Marjorie and I. And thank you so, so much for being there and being awesome souls and shining your light. And then of course to you, my loves, thank you so much for watching. Um, it always fills my heart with so much joy reminiscing about the month past uh, or the months past and um, I, I I do appreciate it so much that you take time out of your busy days to follow me along on my journey. Uh, it makes me feel even more connected to all of you and I want to say that um, from my little corner of the world um, to all of you out there. Thank you for shining your light. Thank you for being the best version of yourselves. And thank you for bringing kindness and generosity in this world as well. And I hope you're kind to yourselves. I hope you're kind to others. And love and light, beloved souls. <laughs>